Hey guys, Tokyo Treats here. Today I'm going to show you how to make some fun junk food for your pets. So we have fried chicken, some cat food and dog food, some soda, M&Ms, and some potato chips. Okay, so always ask a parent for help before starting any craft. And for this project, you'll need... For the fried chicken, cut off the tip of a Q-tip then color using a brown and orange marker. Do note, however, that the brown, the darker color, will rub off on your other marker, so be mindful of that. When satisfied with your color scheme, you're done. Allow to dry before placing on anything of importance because uh, your marker will rub off. For the M&Ms, cut out two pictures of M&Ms, cut out a piece of yellow foam paper, and simply glue to each side. The other cutout I have is a little bit smaller than this side, so I'm just going to trim it just a little bit. For your chips, use two cutouts from the weekly ads that are the same brand. And of course this one's much smaller so I'm going to have to scale this one down a little bit because uh, there's a big difference in size here. And cut out. So I scaled this one down as much as I could without actually eliminating the word Doritos. So ideally it'd be great if I had two Dorito bags of the same size. Next, cut out a piece of orange construction paper and cut out a piece that's consistent in height. Fold behind so that your seam will be in the back. Then glue your back seam and your bottom just barely along the edges. When your bag is sealed, squeeze in a little bit of paper or cotton, whatever you have available, just to puff it out a little bit, then seal shut. Oftentimes I'll just use the tip of a paper clip or a toothpick to cram in my glue. Once sealed, glue your labels to the front and back for an easy bag of Doritos. To make tiny little sodas, Cut out a section from a thin paper straw, making sure it's not lopsided and will stand up. Select a cutout, and oftentimes the cans are so small that they won't fit all the way around your straw, so I, I look for uh, cutouts like this so that it's wide enough to wrap around my straw. So something like this would work too. And it's a little bit bigger than my straw, so I'm just going to cut strategically. And you can always adjust the size of your straw to conform to the cutout. Cut out a section of silver paper, glue, allow it to dry, and then trim the top. While that is drying, use a tiny hole punch to cut out a tiny little tab using the same silver paper. When dry, trim the edges of your silver paper. Wrap your cutout. And of course, if you don't want your bottom open, you can glue another silver piece to the bottom. Now glue your little tab. So just a drop of glue. For a super easy little can of soda. You can also make dog food this exact same way using 
dog food cutouts, or you can make cat food. And finally, I used slightly thicker straws to make paper towels and toilet paper. Well guys, I sure hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, check Rainbow Tinkle out on Facebook, and be sure to tune in for my next project. Thanks so much guys. Bye!